What's up, guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. Ace McAverage here. We're back playing Jurassic World Evolution. We're uh, pretty much done with our first island here. I've got this uh, contract to incubate more Ceratosaurus, so I figured we would sell these guys. And then go ahead and make some new ones, get that contract done. And then we're ready to go to the next island, but I want to do some more expeditions to kind of stock up. If you look over here, from what I understand, I can save these and sell them when we get to the next uh, island and give us a little boost in money. So. That's the idea. So we're letting these guys incubate, we'll get the contract done, and then we'll jump over to the other island here. So while we're waiting, let's check our management views. How is shelter? These guys don't have shelter. Good to know. We can put an emergency shelter over here. Let's do that real quick. Going kind of blindly here, let's see. There we go. That looks kind of interesting. All right, another expedition complete. Uh, definitely need to finish out the Ceratosaurus. Uh, we'll just stay right here. I think it's faster, maybe. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Some new Ceratosauruses. They're so cool looking. I like this uh, pattern. Cool. Release the next guy. Ladies and gentlemen. Incubate one more. Modify. Is it unlocked? It is. Cool. So attack up, viability down, rating up, rating. So we want the highest rating, 139, 137, 139. Not aggressive instincts, tooth hardness, that one sounds good. Apply. All right, this is gonna be our new alpha. Look at it, it costs almost a million dollars. All right, let's get him going. Go to fossils. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. That is going good. One more expedition out. Alright. I was trying to go to the next island, but I keep getting these contracts. <laughs> Once we release this new Ceratosaurus, that might bring up our profits a little bit. How how are the Draco Rexes doing over here? Don't rating thirty four. I think we can get higher rating than that now. Cause aren't our Dracos? Yeah, they're at a hundred percent. So what's the rating look like on these guys? Full skin. We want highest rating. Okay, looking good. Forty-five is the highest rating. Let's incubate one of these guys. There we go. Oh, Draco Rex. He's a lighter green. He looks good. Dragon King, the Draco Rex. Sounds so intimidating, but it's just a plant eater. However, just in case they do rule the earth again, don't tell them I said that. So funny. 
All right, let's get the Ceratosaurus out. You did all right. Maybe better than all right. Thanks. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's get one expedition sent out. Hey, that one's all done. All right. One more sent out. Excellent work on that contract. Thanks. Our research budget is more secure now. All right. Let's get out of here quick before we get more. Island navigation, Isla Muerta. Let's go. Didn't want to hang around and get more contracts. I have a hard time just leaving contracts there. As if prehistoric creatures weren't enough to contend with, on this next island, Isla Muerta, you may have uh, some meteorological events. You know, storms, extreme weather, that kind of thing from time to time. As you can see, the weather on this island can be a little temperamental. First thing you're going to want to do is fix any damage this storm has caused. You should use a ranger team to get the park operational again. Oh, and don't forget to close any emergency shelters when it's safe to do so. Guests won't spend their hard-earned dollars huddled in a bunker underground, will they? That must have been quite the storm. And it seems that bad weather is often a precursor to bad behavior from the dinosaurs. If you believe that everything is connected, the so-called butterfly effect, and I do believe it, by the way, then one small change is all it takes to create a series of toppling dominoes leading to rampaging dinosaurs. And they don't make a butterfly net big enough to stop them. Thanks, Dr. Ian Malcolm. So, you have to drive and manually repair because the ranger station didn't have any power. And with this much water, the physics on the Jeep is pretty insane. It's pretty hard to control. I didn't want to interrupt while uh, the story was going on, but wanted to get started on repairing. So, there we go. Storm still going. Everybody's in there. If there's anyone here. Let's go ahead and try to get some dinos going right away so we can get our park rating going and so we can have, uh, well, something for people to look at so we can attract tourists. Alright, so you're at 70% viability, so hopefully you make it. Can I put any upgrades on these guys? Oh, good. Good. Success, success, success. Perfect. Incubate, Draco Rex, go. Um, yeah, we'll do two Draco Rexes at first. I wanted to get a Triceratops, too. Close. Close. Oops. Alright. So... I guess we should get a Ceratosaurus going too. Would like to see 100% genome built here. Built. Released. So let's go ahead. We don't have much spare power, so we're going to need another power station before, before we start building everything else. I don't like where they put the power station. It's kind of in good space for uh building dino pens so what do we got to work with can we build all the way out here let's see uh whoops power no okay so it stops out here and then up here so i wouldn't mind seeing power back here try to keep all the administration stuff right around here 
and then maybe hopefully we can move this eventually put that there we will connect uh, where do I want to connect it just goes straight at it for now there we go we got some dinos to release we just saw this release them both I did well these aren't very big so I don't want to get it too full in here but maybe we can do one ceratosaurus for now give us some profits need a path can I Yeah, that looks good right there. So let's get gift shop. Need more profits. Because we're already spent too much money. Great. Okay, so we need more dinos. Oh, first off, is there a herbivore feeder in here? It's not. Let's put it right there. And then we're going to need a... Too expensive. No. We're already broke. Rud. Are we making money at least? Good. Making money. <gasps> no, I forgot to do the success rate. Oh, that was like a million dollars wasted. Oh no. That was bad. Alright. So we got a whopping two Draco Rexes to look at on this park. How are you guys? Are you guys happy in here? Where are you? There you are. Population, you could use some more people. Two to eight. It's a good thing I got two in here at least. I guess we should try to get a contract. I don't know if we can get an easy enough one. I don't think they'd offer I this just, contract to just uh, So at least review it. I just did that. <laughs> guess I should have clicked that first. Uh, without any money, there's not much we can do. Can we do anything? This all costs too much money. Can we make them cheaper by removing genomes? Reset genes. Okay, how cheap are you now? 150,000. Oh wow, it's really not too bad just to have all the genes on this guy. We want highest rating. Fly. The one with his lifespan. There we go. Forty-four. Forty-six is the best. Two hundred forty-one thousand dollars. So we just gotta sit around and wait. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna bring you guys back when we have some money to do something we just gotta let this slowly go what's up guys welcome back uh, brought you guys back we got a, a contract here for no kills by carnivores carnivores words uh, and we don't have any in the park so that's free money so I'm hoping that'll get us a bump to really get the park moving again we're about near ready to make a Draco Rex 
let's see 241 so we're getting there uh, I ended up making four Struthiomimus I can't afford to feed them so we'll see how long before they get uncomfortable which is gonna be soon so maybe we do need to feed them I was tempted I, I guess I could move them over how much is oh we can we no we don't have an ACU center yet so I guess I need to feed them but I wasn't wasn't thinking I should have made them on this side I guess I could knock down the fence for now how much does that cost there you go and you guys, do you guys realize there's food now? Is that how it works? That guy's running straight for it. Hey, cool, maybe that worked. Go, buddy, go. Okay, we got enough for a Draco Rex. Boom. Get one of those guys going. So, we're still looking good. Did they all move over? One... One Struthiomimus didn't get the memo yet. I also shut down this power station until we needed it. It was costing money per minute. So, things got a little bit better now. You have a responsibility to keep oh, these shut up. Fed. I have plenty out here. No, not a new team. Doesn't even need to be refilled yet. Okay. Did you make it, little guy? Quick. We trap him in. Actually, I wonder if we really need that. Release the dino. There's one. I'd give you a standing O, but I don't want to get up. You understand, right? Still, heck of a job. Just jumping around to see everybody's content. Where's my Draco Rexes? Everybody's happy. Yep. Okay. Uh, we can do one more Draco. Yep. All right. So our profits are getting up. So once we get that Draco done, we'll get a little bit more cash. And then we'll move from there. I guess we'll just do more herbivores on this side. There's really no point in separating them. Uh, wasn't planning on doing a carnivore well because this isn't this isn't an electrified fence but I wonder if we'll get smaller carnivores that we could put in here I don't want to put the ceratosaurus without an electrified fence so let's go ahead and put this fence back together just because it bothers me <laughs> there we go alright come on Draco Three, two, one, boom. Contract complete. Thank you very much. I knew you could do this. These new dinosaurs will be extremely valuable in our ongoing research, and we have you to thank for it. You're welcome. We only need 400,000 to get our expedition center. So, this guy's getting pretty full in here. How are we doing population-wise? Hey, everybody's looking okay. But I wanted to go to this one. 2 to 8, 2 to 12. So you guys are probably... I don't want to put a... 
a triceratops in there. They're a little too big. Can I? Here we go. So they're being only one. So we could put an Edmontosaurus in there. Let's check his genome real quick. Ninety percent. Okay. Can't afford a trike. We can put one or two of these eddies in here. And I can't afford another one. Could do another Struthiomimus, but they they don't really do that much. They have terrible rating. Hey, just heard of a great opportunity we should get behind. Man. Those are 100,000. I just used all that. Well, we'll have that money soon. Should be an easy contract. Boom. Storm defense is not good at all. Yeah, we'll put that right here. Flip it around. Uh, yeah. Right in the middle, boom. No power. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're going to need power over here, too. I'd hate to be wasteful. I will put it right there, at least. Cool. More Rain money. Or shine, the show goes on. But it's nice to know when it's gonna rain so we can make the necessary adjustments. Because our performance can be a little bit temperamental and a lot bit lethal. So way to show how it's done. Here we go. Now we need to crank up the other power station. There we go. Or we could just do this and this. We'll shut that other guy back down. Let's see. Deactivate. Yeah. Cool. Got the success rate already on this one. Profits are okay. Oh, got somebody to release. All right. Well, guys, it's not as an exciting uh, start on this island. It's really slow, so uh, hopefully we can get the research center and the expedition center up and going pretty soon here. Uh, but that'll have to be in the next episode. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Ace McAverage. You guys stay awesome. We'll see you. You have a good one.